I want to give you a review of the Ferris FW25. I haven't seen too many online. Uh, it's basically the exact same model as the Snapper Pro that they have. Uh, the Snapper Pro is a different paint color. I don't know if there's any difference really um, between the uh, walk-behind mowers and the, between the Ferris and the Snapper. I know the difference between the zero turns is the suspension on the others, but this doesn't uh, doesn't do that. So I ended up getting mine uh, from a dealership outside of Marietta, Georgia. Got a great deal on it. It was an overstock deal. Um, they uh, responded to a Craigslist ad that said uh, hydraulic 52 inch mower for sale contact for price and uh, they uh, listed it on there or they listed the, um, the price but not the brand and uh, so I did that and so I got the 52 inch deck I got the uh, smaller engine option which is a 15 horsepower Kawasaki it's done everything I needed it to do uh, I have not had one lick of trouble out of the mower I have 42.9 hours on it um, my fuel consumption is about a gallon per hour maybe a touch more depending on the load uh, changed oil at uh, the recommended interval that was no big deal at all uh, very easy it's got a uh, hose here on the back that you use and it's real easy to drain um, the controls are easy on it they do have comfort controls and I got the pistol grips uh, I don't mind them, so maybe the comfort controls are just a lot more comfortable, but I thought it was a uh, I thought it was perfectly fine um, Everything works pretty well. Uh, everything works really well. Um, I lost uh, I don't know if one of the, the little uh, Screws there it's like that that black one right there I don't know if that thing ran out or if my kids messed with it and got it done but uh, Yeah, so this is what I use uh, obviously, I can't get it behind gates, but I've got a little push mower for that. Um, I uh, have used X marks in the past. I've used Skags in the past. I've used Bobcats in the in the past. Um, and uh, I really do like the Ferris. I like it a lot. I would uh, definitely recommend it to anybody. Um, also, I don't know that the uh, price difference between the uh, FW25 and the FW35. Which I think the 35 has a deck that you can adjust with a handle, uh, so it can go in uh, different increments. With this one, you have to pick it up and move those uh, those cotter pins. And then uh, this isn't cotter pins. I don't know what they are. You don't have to move those pins uh, with the FW35. And uh, the FW35 has an electric start option, but um, honestly, I've never, you know, one one uh, one pull or two, and it it goes fires up right away. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for uh, a good uh, commercial mower that's not uh, going to cost you, uh, you know, eight, seven, eight, nine thousand uh, dollars, Ferris FW25, highly recommend it. Um, check online; uh, a lot of times you can get really good, uh, really good deals on it, um, and you can uh, go from there. But uh, it's a great, uh, uh, great mower, uh, very well made, excellent customer service from the department. I had a issue that I emailed them about and I got uh, a great response back from them uh, with them explaining how I can fix it, um, how I can uh, deal with the issue uh, that I was having, which it was no big deal. It was just uh, slowing down and all I had to do was tighten a, tighten a screw in the back. Um, as I would mow, the as I would mow, this thing would slide uh, back. So I'd start mowing at about a three where I'm comfortable and it would slowly slow down. And what I had to do was, there's uh, this part right here, I had to just tighten that and that squeezed these two things together and that uh, that fixed the problem for me. So, but uh, you know, it just saved me the 45 minutes of driving it over to the dealership and going from there. But uh, Ferris FW25, uh, key start right here, here's your PTO. Turn it on, pull it up, push it down for uh, turn them off. If you let go of the handles, it'll automatically turn off, and all you have to do is pop it back up again. Here's your throttle, here's your choke, um, emergency brake right here. So you put it on and off like that. But uh, I've had uh, fantastic luck with this thing. I'm uh, uh, I'm going to use this thing and, um, and and just use it up until I can. And I might uh, eventually get a walk behind 36 something smaller to get get into gates and things like that but so far this thing has done everything i needed it to be i couldn't be more uh, more grateful for it so 
uh, highly recommend it and uh, if you've got the uh, if you've got the money to do it this is a, a good um, there's probably a, mowers that are more expensive that have more bells and whistles but this thing gets the job done and uh, it's uh, pretty affordable uh, compared to some of the other ones so all right well mowing on the side is out talk to you guys later bye bye